Hi, this is Elle McCann from Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. And in this tutorial, we are going to go through adding the Pinterest conversion pixel to your site so that you can start advertising on Pinterest and tracking your conversions, which are either signups or checkouts. So to do this, we are in the back end of Shopify now, and I am in the themes area. So to get here, I clicked on online store in the left hand menu and we're on themes. So this is the back end area where we are going to be adding in your pixel code into the theme. So right here, you can see the current theme and I'm going to hit actions, edit code. And then I'm going to click this theme dot liquid. So this is pulling up where we're going to put the code, which is in the head tag. So you can see here the head where it opens and then where it closes. So this is where we'll be putting the Pinterest conversion tag. So let's go ahead and get that generated now. So we are going to go to Pinterest. So I'm already logged into my Pinterest profile and I'm going to go up to ads. Now, just to let you know, you can only do this if you have a Pinterest business account. So if you can tell if you have a business account because you'll actually see analytics and ads up here. If you don't and it's a personal, uh, don't freak out. You can actually change that over to a business and I will put a link in the description below on a step-by-step -step process of how to change your personal Pinterest page over to a business account. So if you are on a business account, you can go here to ads and then conversion tracking. So once we get this set up, when you actually set up ads, you'll be able to pick your pixel, your conversion tracking tag. So we're going to hit create a Pinterest tag. And this is going to be your name for it. So this is how you'll actually see it in your ads manager. So I'm going to say the name of the business. Okay, and I'm going to hit generate code. Okay, so first we have this add the Pinterest tag code. So again, this should be added to the head area of any page you want to track. So because we want to track every single page of the site, we want to actually put it in the, the theme area that we have because that's going to be pulling information for every single page of your site. So we'll just hit copy. and come back here to our back end of Shopify. And again, we wanna put it in between the head tags. So we have the first head tag up here, which you can see, and we have the last head tag. So I'm gonna actually put it right before the last head tag. So I'm just gonna hit enter a few times here, and this is where I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to hit save. So now that we've added in our base tracking code in our Shopify theme here, now we have to add the event tracking code. So we'll go back to the Pinterest page that we pulled up. And you can see here has this next add the actions you want to track. So these are things that you're specifically wanting to track of people actually doing on your site. So we are going to be setting up when people check out. So this would be people checking out, they come to your site and they actually create an order. Um, so we were first going to go back. So we don't want to put this checkout code on the Shopify theme because then that would show every single page as a checkout. So to put this code into the specific checkout page, we're going to hit settings and then checkout. And we're going to scroll down to the additional scripts area. So you can see this here. Uh, let's see, it's under the order processing section on your checkout area of settings. So this will actually be putting all these additional scripts on your checkout page. So you know that they've actually purchased from you because they won't see this page that shows the order status of their checkout unless they actually do, you know, put in their payment information and put the order through. So the information that we're wanting to put here is just to track that 
check out. So Pinterest isn't very helpful in giving the information because you can't just put this here. Um, you actually have to put in a little bit more code. Um, so we're going to pull up the Pinterest developers area and we can copy it from here. So I'm gonna actually put this link in the description as well um, because you'll wanna copy this specific code. So I am going to just copy it right here and I'm gonna go back to my Shopify store and I'm going to paste it. However, we are not done yet. Um, so you can see here that they have this your tag ID. So that's not gonna work. So we do need to get your tag. So we'll go back to the first Pinterest page that we have and we'll scroll back up and you can see here in red, this is your Pinterest tracking tag. So we'll copy that and we'll go back to our Shopify store and where we have this your tracking tag, we're gonna select that and paste our numbers in there. And that is good to go for the script for the checkout page. So we will hit save. And then the last step, we need to actually go back to where we were in the Pinterest ads area and we need to hit save there as well. So we'll scroll on down and it does say to wait a few hours to check that your tag's working. So um, there is a little bit of a delay. So come back once it's working and, or come back in a few hours and you can double check that it's working there. So you'll actually see that it's saying that it's verified. So we'll hit done. Okay, so now we're again still under this ads conversion tracking section. So we'll actually see here this delightful gent Pinterest tag. Um, I'm gonna actually go in and say conversion tag maybe for it. We could hit details. And here we can change this name however we want. So I'm gonna change this to conversion or checkout conversion tag. Okay, and we'll just hit update. Now again, we just did this so it's not showing as verified yet. However, once it is, uh, we can come back and verify that there on the page. And so you'll see that here of verified. Also, since we did a checkout, if you don't have any checkouts within that three hour span, it may not show up as being verified yet as well um, or partially verified. So there are a few different factors in that. However, it should be once your base code set up, uh, it should be working. Now, one other issue is that I do have on my Shopify store, let's go back here. I do have, if I click on online store, a password set up because the site hasn't launched yet. So because of that, uh, Pinterest is not going to be able to scan the site and see that. So you would need to remove the password before you're wanting to do that. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and stay tuned as in the next videos, we're going to be covering how to set up the Pinterest buyable pins in your sales channels area of Shopify.